recently expanded facility is now open to new members. Come, enjoy the freedom of 24-hour access. Repair and maintenance by Mercury Specialist Bellhart Marine. With on-site solutions for all that you'll need, Inlet Watch is the yacht club you'll never want to leave. Call now and you'll find out the best place to dock is at Inlet Watch. Morgellons, is it a physical or psychological problem? We'll look at a disturbing skin condition that sparked debate among doctors tonight on Fox 26 News at 10. You're watching Fox 26 Wilmington, one hour earlier, with Kim Lehman, John Evans, meteorologist Craig Carnese, and Bob Bonner with sports. This is Fox 26 News at 10. Going up. Local real estate agents say Wilmington's market is on the move and the national numbers are coming around as well. Plus, Thomas Wright's attorney says he was denied due process. They want a judge to give him back the seat he lost last week in Raleigh. Good evening and thanks for tuning in one hour earlier. I'm Kim Lehman. I'm John Evans. We'll have more on those stories in a moment. But first on Fox tonight, the wait for justice goes unrewarded. A Wilmington woman says a six-month sentence for her husband's death is not enough. Kara Fote waited more than a year to face the woman who caused her husband's death. That meeting came today in a New Hanover County courtroom. Fox 26's Kim Gevia spoke with the Fote family tonight and joins us with what they're saying about today's events. Kim? Kim, Kara Fote was expecting a long drawn out trial for Cody Carmack, the woman charged with causing her husband's death. Instead, it ended in just a few hours with a plea deal that brought no apology and no closure for the family. Full of life, always smiling, would give anybody the shirt off his back to help him. Um, was definitely the love of my life. And Kara Fote's been I grieving mean. the loss of her husband, Michael Fote, for more than a year. In the early morning hours of February 8th, 2007, Fote's red Jeep Wrangler swerved to avoid a car that crossed into his lane on MLK Parkway. Fote drove off the overpass, fell 40 feet, and died at the scene. The driver who caused the deadly crash is 22-year-old Cody Carmack. We After waiting a year for justice and expecting an emotional time. trial, the votes were stunned when Carmack agreed to a plea deal earlier today. Carmack pleaded guilty to felony death by motor vehicle. She'll spend six months behind bars. You know, I'm glad she got what she got, but I wish she would have got, got a lot more. The family and the prosecutor believe six months is not long enough. But both say an error by the Wilmington Police Department left them no choice but to take the deal. The officer on the case never got a sample of Carmack's blood for a toxicology test. That's standard procedure needed to prove intoxication or impairment. In light of the initial investigation and the officer's failure to take the defendant's blood, it was a very difficult case for us to prosecute. She should have been blood tested and it would have made this trial and case go a lot easier and smoother had we had that. So there are multiple mistakes that the Wilmington Police Department made. Fote's father wants the Wilmington Police Department to make changes to ensure procedures are followed. And his widow hopes her husband's untimely death helps others remember the life lesson she's had to learn. And cherish every day. You yeah. never take anything for granted because you never know. The Wilmington Police Department says the officer on duty the morning of the accident was new and should have taken a blood sample. They couldn't tell me, though, if he has been reprimanded for not doing that. Kim, back to you. All right, Kim Gebbia, thank you very much. Brunswick County detectives are asking for your help finding a missing teenager. Now take a good look at this picture. 17-year-old Tiffany Hulan has not been heard from since last Wednesday. She's about 5 foot 3 and 155 pounds. She also has a scar on the left side of her mouth. She was last seen wearing pajamas. Now, if you have information on her whereabouts, please call the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office. Time now for us to get our first check of the forecast with Chief Meteorologist George Elliott. Hi, George. Hey, and good evening, Kim. Uh, kind of cool today, wasn't it? <laughs> Temperatures never made it up there to where we should be. We expected a 59, 50s day, and that's what we hit, 59, 38 this morning. A colder morning coming up, this freezing frost advisory across the area. We'll show you that shortly. A few sprinkles in the region right now. That will be a thing of the past pretty quickly. And look at these numbers, waking up to low to mid-30s under clear skies tomorrow morning. Big changes ahead temperature-wise. We'll look at those numbers coming up in just a few minutes there.
All right, George, thank you. Thomas Wright is asking the state courts to give him back the House seat he lost last week. An attorney for the Wilmington Democrat asked a Superior Court judge to immediately restore Wright's status as the representative for the 18th District. Last Thursday, the General Assembly voted 109 to 5 to expel Wright for ethical misconduct. Wright's attorney claims his client's due process rights were violated in that proceeding. Wright is scheduled to face a criminal trial next Monday on allegations nearly identical to those considered by the full house. A teenager is accused of firing shots inside a Walmart in Jacksonville early this morning. Police say 18-year-old Elijah Payne is a store employee. They say he went on a break, got a shotgun out of his car, painted his face black to camouflage himself, and walked into the employee lounge. Authorities say he held several co-workers hostage until another employee struggled with Payne and took the shotgun away. Payne is charged with assault with a deadly weapon, kidnapping, and firing into occupied property. A Charlotte apartment complex known to be a hotbed for drug activity and prostitution is now the scene of a quadruple murder investigation. Responding to a 911 call this morning, police found three men and one woman shot to death. The unit where the bodies were found had been raided several months ago. Police say at that time drugs were found and arrests were made. Investigators are still trying to identify the victims. The Pender County town of Bergan now has a new top cop. Ed Gibson was sworn in today as the new chief of police. Gibson is a former sergeant with the Wilmington Police Department. He replaces longtime Chief Joseph Briley. Gibson said he's looking forward to the new job. I grew up in Pender County, know a lot of people in school, a lot of people here, so I feel like I'm coming home. So I feel like a hometown boy uh, made good finally. Former Chief Briley's last day on the job will be next Monday. While one chief is starting on the job, another nearing the end of his career. A retirement celebration set for tomorrow for Wilmington Fire Chief Sam Hill. The event's set to begin at 2 o'clock at City Hall. Hill retiring after 50 years as a Wilmington firefighter. Mayor Bill Saffo will be among those speaking tomorrow. The public is invited to take part in the big send-off. Hill has been replaced on an interim basis by Assistant Chief Frank Blackley. A search is underway for a permanent replacement. For the first time in months, the business of buying and selling homes is looking up. The National Association of Realtors says sales of existing homes rose by nearly 3% last month, surprising many economists. However, while more homes were sold, the median price of a home fell by more than 8%. That is the largest drop on record. And those national numbers are being reflected in our situation here locally. And it's hardly the boom of a couple of years ago, but signs they say are encouraging. And as Fox 26's Sarah Warlick says, buyers and sellers are encouraged. Colleen Wehinger put her house near Ashley High School up for sale just last week and is confident that it will move quickly, even with more than 5,000 houses on the local market for buyers to choose from. I know there's a lot for sale, but it really doesn't concern me. I know mine's going to sell. News that housing sales are up nationally for the first time in six months didn't sway her decision to sell now. She says she's been getting her house ready for potential buyers for a couple of months, figuring it would sell because Wilmington is a popular destination. In fact, hundreds of new employees hired as General Electric expands are now looking for housing. I don't think we're ever going to really have a problem here because everybody from up north wants to live here. Wehinger says in recent months she's noticed that houses aren't staying on the market all that long and one local realtor we spoke with says that Wilmington doesn't always follow the national trend. The difference is Wilmington is it really is a desirable area. We're smack in the middle between the river and the sea. Laney real estate agent Sonia Sullivan adds that sellers are getting more realistic dropping their prices. That's a reflection of what's happening nationally where the median sales price has dropped dramatically. Wehinger will soon find out if her house is selling at the right price or whether it will become part of the inventory of the unsold. In Wilmington, Sarah Warlick, Fox 26 News. And realtors predict the market is going to continue its current trend, but they also add, if you're looking for a house, don't wait because chances are it won't be on the market very long. North Carolina's presidential primary will be important after all, especially to the Democrats. That's right. Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton running a very tight race in the Tar Heel State, and they'll both be in state later this week. We'll fill you in on the dates and times when we come back. And later in our newscast, prepare to get goosebumps. It's a disease that makes people feel like 
bugs are crawling under their skin. Thousands of Americans say they have it, but some doctors think it's all in their heads. You're watching Fox 26 News at 10. Fox First Forecast is brought to you by Bob King, a name you've trusted for 35 years. Thanks to the VW Sign Then Drive event, just about any fun-loving Volkswagen person can get into one. Just sign, then drive. It's hot in here. It's warm. I'm a little warm, too. Your keys? No down payment, no first month's payment, zero due at signing. G. Stein Furniture, 1019 Market Street is home to an incredible selection of furniture at everyday low prices. Three-piece, five-piece, seven-piece dinette sets at affordable prices. Or fill your living room with a complete set of furniture for $799. We are overflowing with affordable merchandise, including bunk beds, entertainment centers, and curios. Come see G. Stein first for quality Simmons mattress sets. In-store financing available, all major credit cards accepted. G. Stein Furniture, we are your affordable furniture store. Located at 1019 Market Street, Wilmington. What sits before you is one heavy-duty Gator XUV. There's not a job too tough for its four-wheel drive and independent rear suspension. A machine like this has no business being locked up. It belongs outdoors, forging new trails through the dirt and the mud. The only question is, who's going to turn it loose? Will it be you? For all of your lawn and garden needs, Wilmington Lawn and Leisure, 253 South Car Avenue. Can't sell your house? Why not redecorate? But don't buy new when you can buy used at a fraction of the cost. The Ivy Cottage has all your refurnishing needs at consignment prices. From stemware to sofas, teacups to tables, bookends to beds, and chairs to chandeliers and carpets. And don't forget about the artwork and fine estate jewelry. The Ivy Cottage has it all. Visit us today on Market Street in Wilmington or at 3cottages.com. Fox 26 News at 10. It's news that's convenient for you and your family. All one hour earlier, it's your first alert weather with a forecast that allows you to plan your day, your week, your weekend without having to wait. It's the first news of your cities and your towns delivered by a news team with the experience you can trust. It's more than just a newscast. It's news catered to you. It's your Fox 26 News at 10, one hour earlier. Closed captioning on Fox is being brought to you by these sponsors. President Bush today marked a military death toll of 4,000 with a promise to achieve victory in Iraq and ensure that American troops did not die in vain. And as the White House officials called that milestone a sober moment in the war, the president also promised resolve, resolve that may include a pause in the troop withdrawals beyond those scheduled to be finished by July. Violence has increased in recent days, including the roadside bombing Sunday night that pushed that U.S. death toll to the 4,000 mark. Two of the soldiers killed in that attack are North Carolina National Guardsmen, 40-year-old Thomas Ray of Weaverville and 26-year-old David Williams of Tarboro. Both men were members of a military police company based out of Rocky Mount. Senator Barack Obama will be back in North Carolina Wednesday. It's the presidential hopeful's second trip to the state in as many weeks. And as Fox 26's Chad Tucker reports, there are plenty of voters looking forward to the visit. The crowds gathered by 9 a.m. First come, first serve. For just one thing. These tickets, of course. Lines formed two hours before the official word Barack Obama was coming. Right here to Greensboro, North Carolina. For a town hall meeting Wednesday at War Memorial Auditorium. Oh, I'm very, very stoked. <laughs> Only 2,000 tickets available. That's it, that's it. Excited, excited. Word of the free tickets spread early through word of mouth or email, creating... It's going to be mayhem in a great way gridlock in the parking lot. If you could just keep moving along, please. Of Guilford County's Democrats office. Can't even get in and out of the parking lot. With lines of supporters. Took about 10 minutes. Representing all ages, including 15-year-old Grace Safrat. It affects our life, too. Some register to vote. We have voter registration forms right here. We can get it all done. We'll send it in for you. While waiting for the golden ticket. <laughs> just two per person, all gone by 1245. Hopefully my husband, if he can make it. <laughs> P. 
people in a rush to get their seat. Because this is history right here. This is history. This can be history. Once again, that was Fox's Chad Tucker reporting. Again, tickets to the event are sold out. But campaign officials say Senator Obama will be back to North Carolina several times, in fact, between now and the May primary. Rival Hillary Clinton is also making North Carolina one of her stops this week. She will be in the state on Thursday, though details like when and where have not yet been released. Today, she was in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, campaigning hard for that primary, which comes two weeks before North Carolina's. Clinton currently leads Obama by double digits in the Keystone State. Now, we hope to have more information on Senator Clinton's visit soon, and we'll pass that along. Meantime, a member of our news team will be interviewing Senator Clinton via satellite tomorrow, and we will show you some of that right here on Fox 26 News at 10. While Clinton and Obama are battling it out for delegates, John McCain is setting his sights on November. The senator in California today, his first visit there since becoming the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. Mr. McCain held a town hall meeting with military families, thanking them for their dedication and, and the war effort in Iraq. He also discussed the economy and why he opposes tax increases. McCain will spend two more days campaigning in California. It's kind of nice to see North Carolina getting some political action. Yeah, how long ago was it? Six weeks ago we were saying North Carolina's primary is too late, it's not going to matter. Well, it turns out at least it's going to matter for the Democrats, big time. Uh, Clinton and Obama really neck and neck in this mm -hmm. state right now. About 120 now. delegates, I think, yep. separating the two. Mm -hmm. All right, well, George will be back with our forecast and promise some changes, hopefully, for the warmer. Soho Steakhouse, Wilmington's new fine dining experience. Enjoy unmatched service in a warm, comfortable atmosphere. Our 60-person banquet room is ideal for parties and corporate events with Wi-Fi capability and a VIP chef's table for that special occasion. Order unique appetizers, garden fresh salads, fine dining entrees, and delectable desserts, all accompanied by a full list of select wines for the best lunch or dinner you'll ever have. Soho Steakhouse, so fine, so fresh, so delicious. It's a new day at DE Dodge and March is Truck Month. DE Dodge has more selection of the best looking, best performing trucks. You want a Hemi? You've got a Hemi. Free on any Dodge Ram. Plus, get 0% financing for 60 months. Get 0% financing for 72 months on selected models, including Nitros, Durangos, and Magnums. Introducing the all new journey, starting at only $18,995. Check us out on the web at DEDodge.com. And remember, nobody but nobody beats a DE Dodge deal. On college tuition, Bev Perdue's been flat out wrong. She voted to raise tuition seven times. Perdue even sponsored a 24% tuition increase and said it was just beer and party money. But Richard Moore doesn't think the rising cost of college is a joke. Moore's plan allows high school graduates to attend community college tuition free. It's time for a leader who will do right by families like yours. I'm Richard Moore, candidate for governor, and I sponsored this ad. When selling your home, putting the Coldwell Banker Seacoast Realty sign in your yard is just the beginning. We reach hundreds of thousands of buyers via the internet, through the newspaper and buyer's guides, on television, direct mail, and more. When you list your home with Coldwell Banker Seacoast Realty, you become part of the most powerful real estate network on the planet. Put the power of Coldwell Banker Seacoast Realty to work for you. Your buyer could be anywhere. Coldwell Banker is everywhere. This weather segment is brought to you by Murrow Furniture Gallery, South College Road, Wilmington. This is Fox 26 Weather. And welcome back first to their digital Doppler radar, showing a little green on the map, even a couple of yellow spots. Well, nothing heavy. Those are basically just sprinkles or a little patch of light rain here and there moving across southeastern North Carolina with that disturbance in the upper atmosphere as expected. It won't be amounting to much and all of it will be gone over the next couple of well, next few hours as it moves on toward the east pretty quickly. This little batch here moved across New Hanover County in the Wilmington area. A little bit more back to the west north of Shalot now stretching northbound through northern sections of Pender County. Light patchy precipitation. That's it. Clearing skies as we go past 12, two in the, anywhere between 12 a.m. and uh, 2 a.m., it will begin to clear and quickly from west to east. Dark blue areas, once it clears off, that's a freeze warning. Frost advisory for the light blue areas for the coastal counties could be in the wee hours and into tomorrow early, early, a light brief frost or a brief freeze in some of these areas. So 
It's getting cold tonight once those skies clear off. 48 in town right now, mid 40s up to the north, so it's cool now. Tomorrow it will warm up quickly, low to mid 30s early in the morning. Plenty of sunshine through the day and highs topping out right about 59. So it moderates rather quickly. Clouds early and then clearing skies late tonight through tomorrow. Tomorrow night, clear skies. And then we keep the mostly sunny condition on Wednesday, but actually pump those temperatures up as winds come around to a southwesterly direction with just a few of those puffy clouds staying to our north and west. Departing storm system and associated upper level storm center. High pressure builds on in through tomorrow, Wednesday on the back side of that. That's where we'll get the warming and keep that. Now skies clearing off through the night with some patchy light frost or a brief freeze in Terrier County is possible. Low to mid 30s by the morning hours. That's chilly stuff. Tomorrow sunshine about 59 for the high north to northeast wind at 5 to 15. Along the coast a bit gusty at times in the morning then decreasing in the afternoon. 4 to 6 foot seas coming down to 3 to 4 feet. Here's your first alert planning forecast. And a big change in temperatures. Cold tonight that's for sure. And kind of cold tomorrow night, too. Not as cold tonight, though. And then, uh, ooh, look what we get to 70-ish on Wednesday. Mid-70s Thursday, upper 70s Friday and Saturday. And maybe a spritz or a little spot shower toward the weekend with a frontal system in the area. Not much punch to that one, though. But definitely some spring-like weather coming our way. Just be Patient, Kim and John. <laughs> Patient. All right. It's a good thing we didn't plant anything yet with those uh, with the frost. Possible. Yeah, even if it doesn't frost, it's still stressful on the plants yeah. Yeah. and us too. You know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank, thank you, George. You, George. Sure. Well, good news for fans of Fox's show Prison Break. There are a lot of them out there, too. The show's coming back, renewed for a fourth season. Production, though, is going to move from Dallas to Los Angeles for season number four. The Dallas Morning News is reporting that the city made more than $122 million from the series shooting in the city. The first season of Prison Break was shot in Joliet, Illinois. Have you ever had the feeling that you had something crawling on your skin, maybe after you heard somebody talk about bugs or you saw ants crawling on the ground? Yeah, well now take that sensation and imagine it not going away. Mm. Day after day after day. That's one symptom of something called Morgellons disease, but is it all in a patient's mind? We'll have the big debate next. Hey, it's me, your home phone. You know, Mr. Reliable, the one with the curly cord. I notice you've been racking up some serious long distance charges and I want you to know there's a better way. New Go Blue Bundles from ATMC. Pick an unlimited calling plan for the area you call most. 910, North and South Carolina, or nationwide. With prices as low as $19.95 a month, it's their best deal ever. Now oh, that's a deal worth ringing about. Ring a ding ding. Oh, oh I've used myself. Bundle and save. All new Go Blue Bundles from ATMC. Hey, it's been over a month since I told you about the world record for gold. Now it's platinum. It's over $2,000 an ounce. Gold's over $920 and silver's up over $18. So listen, folks, we're still buying by appointment on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're going to buy first come, first serve. You come in the house, we'll be glad to wait on you. We can only see about 100 people a day. We are paying the highest price in town because we've had over 2,000 people come in with a 98% closure rate. They tell us that we're paying the best price in town. We'll see you when you get here at Perry's Emporium. Thanks. In, things might get bumpy. Thankfully, the GL450 is the only full-size luxury SUV with a unit body platform to provide maximum comfort and stability. So it rides less like a truck and more like a car. Better yet, more like a Mercedes. Seven passenger GL. Just one of the Mercedes-Benz SUVs with formatic four-wheel drive. The GL starts at 56,725. that variety is the spice of life. But sometimes, isn't the spice of life really spice? The brand new Spicy Baconator from Wendy's. It's way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. We just weren't expecting you to block us. Well, after last week's episode, what am I gonna do? There are children in this house, Marcelo. Look, I'm not asking you to change your ways. I'm just blocking you so the kids can't see. Now, who wants lemonade? The Centers for Disease Control is studying an illness that may not actually exist. It's called Morgellons, where patients believe they have bugs crawling on their skin. As Fox's Claudia Cowan reports, uh, there's debate among doctors. That's tonight's medical breakthrough report. 
itchy open lesions, mysterious blue and red fibers sprouting from your body, bugs crawling under your skin. Just some of the bizarre symptoms of Morgellons disease, a baffling and controversial condition that affects thousands of Americans, including 53-year-old Wendy Tripp. I've lived through it for four years and it's not fun. Morgellons is now the focus of a major Bay Area study by the Centers for Disease Control. But finding a physician to talk about the condition wasn't easy because many believe it's nothing more than an internet-driven hysterical condition spread by scary websites and videos on YouTube. I've had two patients became so despondent over the fact that they couldn't get rid of their bugs that they've uh, put a gun to their head and killed themselves. Dr. Peter Lynch says he's gotten death threats after giving the most common diagnosis, delusional parasitosis, a psychosis so severe patients use needles, even knives, to prove to their doctors the bugs are there under the skin. CDC researchers are committed to finding answers to the nature and origins of Morgellons once and for all. We're going into this with an open mind and we're considering a range of possibilities, not just uh, mental disorders, but also looking for possible environmental exposures, looking for possible infectious etiologies. No one argues these people are suffering from something, but whether it's a physiological or psychiatric disorder is what the CDC intends to find out. Right now, they're still lining up people to participate in the study and hope to have answers as early as next year. In San Francisco, Claudia Cowan, Fox News. Hope they get wow. those answers, yeah. Yeah, that's bizarre. Mm -hmm. Coming up, 16 might be sweet, but is it sweet enough for the pollsters? Yeah, we're not talking hoops or brackets. Bob Bonner has more on the magic number and Seahawks baseball next in sports. This Xterra could be yours. Look closely and you can almost see yourself behind the wheel. Wilmington Nissan is celebrating Nissan's 50th anniversary by giving away this Nissan Xterra. And for a limited time, you could get any car on the lot for only $50 down. Register to win at Wilmington Nissan on the corner of College and Market. Easy Wireless, a U.S. cellular authorized agent, is proud to announce the grand opening of our flagship store in Elizabethtown. Now through March 27th, visit any one of our locations in the Carolinas for free activations on family plans, 20% off accessories, and a free Samsung phone. For over 20 12 years, Easy Wireless has led the way by providing award-winning customer service from U.S. Cellular, shorter wait times, and friendly customer service. Don't make it hard on yourself. Get to Easy Wireless, a U.S. Cellular authorized agent. Easy Wireless. Easy is good. See a store for details. I don't hang back. I don't mess around. I work hard to get what I want. What truck do you think I drive? Yeah, I'm a Dodge Ram man, and I roll with Hemi V8 power, 20-inch chrome wheels, even a lifetime powertrain warranty. You know where I'm coming from, and you better believe I know where I'm going. During the New Day sales event, get a no extra charge Hemi plus 0% APR financing for 60 months and a lifetime powertrain warranty. In 1941, Deli connoisseur Harold Miller had a striking revelation. Yeah, it looks like we got a pretty big he heavy-duty sandwich here, bro. Oh, goodness. Maintain the sandwich here, bro. Oh, myself here. There you go, again. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Let's have a little good picture from the camera here, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good STP there, bro. Mmm, grouchos. You better believe it. Open in the Waterford shops. Win this Xterra. You heard it right. This Xterra could be yours. Drive it home today. Wellington Nissan is celebrating Nissan's 50th anniversary by giving away this Nissan Xterra. And for a limited time, you can get any car on the line for only $50 down. Register to win a Wellington Nissan on the corner of College and Market. You're watching Fox 26 Wilmington, DT26. This is Fox 26 Sports. While I was busy doing nothing on vacation, the same can't be said for the UNCW baseball team. Winners of 16 straight, the team owns the nation's longest win streak, holding on the top spot in the league standings as well. Now, despite all of that, the boys didn't make it into any of the national polls released today. Maybe the baseball writers are also on vacation. The closest the team came to cracking any poll, receiving 22 votes in the USA Today coaches poll, which would put them 33rd in the country. The Seahawks ranked as high as 10th in the RPI, which takes into account the team's winning percentage, opponent's winning percentage, and the opponent's opponent's win percentage. Now, for those of you who don't know, a small RPI number is good, 10 Really good. UNCW going for a 17th straight win Wednesday night at Coastal Carolina at 18 and 4. The Shannon Clears ranked 20th this week. One of those four losses, a 5-2 decision against the Seahawks. And when you're the hottest team in the country, you're bound to get noticed. 
except by those baseball writers. Today, a pair of Seahawks recognized for their work last week. Cameron Roth earned the Rookie of the Week honors after allowing just three hits and three appearances last week. The freshman Southpaw has not allowed a single run in 11 appearances so far this season. While Roth picked up the Rookie of the Week accolades, Nate Hall, the league's Player of the Week. The senior third baseman batted 500 last week. Two doubles, a home run with five runs driven in, five more scored. Yesterday, he finished a triple shy of the cycle, going three for four in an 8-3 win over William & Mary. For the season, Hall owns a 342 batting average that ranks him fourth on the team. He's second on the squad with 26 runs batted in overall. At the Major League level, appears Trot Nixon will find a spot on Arizona's opening day roster. Because of an injury to pinch hitter Chad Tracy, Nixon will likely fill the void on the 25-man roster. That would keep him from filing for free agency. Now, if the Diamondbacks don't offer the New Hanover alum a spot, he can sign with any other team. Through 48 at-bats this spring, Nixon tied for the team lead with 12 RBIs, two home runs, six extra base hits. The D-backs open the season at Cincinnati one week from today. I started the segment with a win streak. We'll end it with one. That came to an end. Tiger Woods' run of seven straight wins over, but he didn't go quietly. The 12th hole, Woods birdie putt and moves in the 13 under par. The par 3 15th. Tiger again looking like he's going to make a charge. It's par 3. He's four back, and he almost gets two of them back right here. The near ace, he would birdie as well. Got the two back, but Jeff Ogilvy hung on, and it was because of this. In trouble? Bottom of the jar. John Evans has done that many, many a time in the golf course. And Jeff Ogilvy, your winner of the CA Championships. Not bad when you're uh, winning by just one stroke to kind of sink one in on a par five, eh, John? That's true. Did you hear that story? You were on vacation last week. Did you hear the story about the 80-year-old guy who got three hole-in-ones in one day? I did not. I did not. Got two while he was playing in the men's golf league and then went out and played around uh, 18 holes with his wife and got a third one that same afternoon. Three, uh, th th three in a lifetime would be fine with me. That's one in a lifetime yeah. would be fine the scales me. a little bit away from you and I. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Tiger came pretty close there. Yeah, a right. couple Just inches. Old, old hat for Tiger. Yeah, thank you, Bob. Yep. Still ahead, San Francisco's answer to the running of the bulls. No animals involved, but certainly Staying ahead of the pack is advisable, and there is one prize handed out for this contest that you probably don't want to get. We'll explain that next. Hello, Domino's. Yo, Domino's guy. Guess what we did over here is now with our 30 minutes now. Ordered a Brooklyn style pizza, and then pick up those fake Brooklyn accents. You being the wise guy, yo, Vinny, we got a wise guy. Everybody, we got a wise guy. No, fellas, did I say fake? I meant really cool. Oh, you yeah. cool. That's what I'm talking about. You That's what I'm talking about. Here comes the Brooklyn. You got big, foldable slices and ginormous pepperoni. You got a one topping large for $9.99. Domino's. You got 30 minutes. It's NCAA March Madness. When passion, performance, and style make the difference. When the best of the best put it all out on the floor for the biggest event of the season. The Buick Pontiac GMC March Madness sales event. Now, get 0% APR for 60 months on every 2008 Buick Lucerne. Make a fast break to your local Cape Fear Buick Pontiac GMC dealer by March 31st. Helping your employees manage their health and wellness is an important ingredient for business success. MedEc Corporate Health provides high-quality, cost-effective occupational health care with a personal touch. MedEc offers employment and annual physicals, drug and alcohol screenings. Because of our commitment to high-quality, efficient health care, MedEc is the preferred occupational health care provider for many southeastern North Carolina companies. Only MedEc is MedEc. Visit MedEc Corporate Health Services, or for other health concerns, visit any of our three MedEc locations. Uh, who says adults can't have big fun on big wheels? Sounds like fun. It is fun because I've done it before. And if you'll <laughs> see, kids' toys sometimes are not meant for long legs. But in San Francisco, dozens of big kids took part in the big wheel competition. Oh, look out. The event started uh, eight years ago by an artist named John Brummett. Racers meet at the top of a steep hill and rock it down on their tricycles <laughs> for a chance to win one of Brummett's homemade prizes. Awards are handed out for first place, of course. Last place, best costume. And this one you probably don't want to get, the most injured. Oh, but if you've ever tried that, I mean, after you're really too big for a big wheel, that's pretty much the way it feels. Your yeah. legs are much too big, but it's fun anyway. <laughs> it is fun, although I don't think I want to get the most injured. No, one. no, that's one you could possibly <laughs> yeah. Thanks for tuning in tonight, everybody. See you tomorrow night.